Well, to be honest with you, the year after I won the world championship was my most depressed year of my life. Um, cause I worked, I, by the way, I was an old man by the time I won the world championship. Like I was 32, 32 first time world champion just doesn't really happen that often in my sport. Most of the world championships are one like 20 year olds, 23, 25, when your athletic peak is at the highest. And I went home and, you know, I was like, this is it, God. Like, I know I have the gold belt buckle that says world champion and I got all the TV and I got all the print ads and I got all the stuff. But like, I thought like my whole life would be fulfilled when getting this. And God made something very, very clear to me. Your life is not fulfilled by the things that you have or achieve, but the type of service that you give to others. And I had to flip it. I had to flip it in my head and say, it's not about trying to beat these guys or gain this gold buckle or to get a million dollars or to land the biggest endorsement deal. It's about doing it in service of others. So I wear a bright pink shirt every time. It's because I do it for breast cancer awareness, right? And people come up to me, Tyson, you helped my mother. Tyson, you helped my sister. Tyson, you helped my cousin. They want to tell me their stories. And when I begin to tie it back in to service to others is why I compete, I then went on and reestablished a new why, and I got back to the height of things. So if you're an individual, maybe you made a million dollars. Maybe you got a half a million in your bank account, and you're doing amazing. Think about other people who rely on the service that you provide, whether that's an employee, or that's a charity, or that's uh, something else that you donate to. There's a lot more happiness that's based on your performance than you think. It's not about you. If you can tie it to service of others, you will stay hungry and stay motivated to go to the next level. And I will be clear, I have reestablished my purpose, my why, over and over and over and over again. In the beginning, it was just to beat the other guys. Then it was for the love of my God. Still paired with the love of my God. Then it was for my wife and my kids because I could never represent bad in front of my wife and my kids. Then after that, it's been charities, tra traffic children, breast cancer awareness, all these charities that I want to like literally make a dent in and make a difference with. And so you just have to reestablish that service to others. It could be called your why, but you must reestablish that service to others because that's initially what's going to keep you motivated. If you need a plane and a yacht and a boat and a lake house and a mountain house, that's cool, but when eventually you're going to get all that stuff and you're not going to be full inside. Service to others is what's going to allow you to live a fully true life.